Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Cray Blog. Researchers at MIT's Media Lab are developing a reading device for the blind. The finger reader is a small device that is mounted on a user's finger and contains a small camera and sensors to read text off a page, converting the words to audio for the reader. Many researchers seem to lose as the reader moves his or her finger across a page of printed text, the text-to-speech feature will simply read the text in real time. The device is able to detect the beginning and end of a line in a sentence of a printed text and uses algorithms to predict the next word in the sentence to help maintain a fluid stream of speech from the text-to-speech software. The device must be tethered to a laptop which parses all the speech-to-text calculations, although they are developing a mobile Android version for smartphones. The finger reader has the potential to help thousands who need assistance reading, including children with dyslexia and other learning disabilities, as well as parents who just want to teach their kids how to read. NASA's Scientific Visualization Studio recently released a video animation of 19 satellites currently orbiting Earth used by the agency to monitor weather and atmospheric conditions here on our home planet. The animation includes the International Space Station as well as the A-Train satellites, Aqua, Aura, CloudSat, and Calypso, which all follow the same exact orbit crossing the equator every day at 1.30 p.m. The A in A-Train stands for afternoon, so that makes sense. The animation looks a little busy with so many satellites circling the planet, but there are in fact about 1,235 satellites from many different countries orbiting our planet every day. The team at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, known as CERN, has produced a drone-guided tour of ALICE, aka a large ion collider experiment located in France, as they gear up to resume experiments at the controversial facility. In the video, they show off the ALICE control room, as well as their worldwide grid called Alien, used for data analysis by over 1,500 collaborators. Then we fly down beneath the surface to see Alice, which they say is like a telescope aimed at the first instance of the Big Bang. Check out the full video on the Crave blog to take a drone tour of the Large Ion Collider. The rocket book looks like a regular spiral notebook with paper, but it's actually a cloud-based computing device that is able to back up your written text and magically erases the text written on its pages when you put it in the microwave. Now you must use a special pen called the Pilot Friction Pen in the Rocket Book to use the Microwave 30 Second Erase feature. But you can use a regular pen to write in the Rocket Book as well. At the bottom of the page there are icons that coincide to different apps like Dropbox for instance. Once you have finished some notes or drawing you want to back up, you simply scribble over the icon at the bottom of the page. You then launch the Rocket Book app on your smartphone and then hold the camera over the pages. The app will automatically create images of your work and upload them to the correct destination as you simply turn the pages. The Rocket Book has already passed its funding goal on Indiegogo and will be available in June for about $25. Alright guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the Sphero 2.0 app controlled robotic ball. Like the idea of a glowing robotic toy ball that controls apps and games? Then go to the blog and enter to win.